this is Moon City playing Oz Broken Kingdom. Uh, this video I'm going to do about the Tin Man. Alright, here he is. Evo 4. That's some of his stats. The main problem with I found with Tin Man is that he was really slow. He's the slowest of all the four heroes. So what I did is I added five speed gems to him to make him keep up with the other other heroes. So he does a good job keeping up. So he gets the same amount of turns in as the other heroes do. get into his abilities, the cards that I picked. Now each, it depends on what you're doing. Um, if you're in the arena and you just want to go after one particular um, opponent, I found that these cards work best for that. If you're doing a campaign and you're going against a bunch of different enemies, you're going to want to have uh, cards that will attack more than just one. But this is what I do for this is the layout for the arena. Heartless does a good amount of damage and it only attacks one. I have a uh, nickel plate that increases my defense for three turns. And it costs zero mana to use, so that's always a good one. Execute. It attacks one enemy, and I also gain one mana. I have this one. Axe Toss. It does a good amount of damage for only four mana. And it also works good in the campaign if you're about ready to kill an enemy. He'll also throw it again at another enemy if you kill him. I get this one, Victorious Strike. This one's kind of costs six mana. It's up there, does decent damage, but it also gives me health. Then my favorite one, even though it costs the most, does the most amount of damage, and it also stuns the person. Now the other ones that I use. For the um, campaign, this cleave. Cleave will strike, strike all your opponent enemies with the same amount of damage. And there's also air blades. Air blade is pretty cool. It does a lot of damage to three random targets. So it's all damage is spread out through all three of them. Or how many enemies you have at the time. Well, there's the cards. That I picked. The other one's kind of... Uh, not really worth it. I mean, there's a few of them... That are... If you're looking for low mana... Overhead Chop's a good one. Um, there's also... The demoralizing blow reduces their attack and reduces their defense both for three turns and does damage. There's a hydraulic fracture. Now this one I don't really like. Is it stuns him for stuns Tin Man for one turn? It doesn't really give you enough health. Though I never, I haven't leveled it up yet. As you can see, I have 105 of them, but I'm probably never going to level this up, so I'm never really going to use it. Momentum blade. Now he uh, swings his act twice at one target. 
but not always doing a 425 damage. Sometimes it's lower than no. Seismic Strike. It's not a bad one. It does knockback. Split the earth and deal damage to all foes. So I guess that would be good for the campaign. This one, issue an earth splitting blow. Deal half damage to adjacent targets. So also would be a good one for a campaign. And the other ones I really, I don't use. They're not really worth really leveling up. Defensive stance is also good. It does pretty much the same thing as nickel plate, but it costs two mana, so I, I can stick with nickel plate since it's zero. Alright. Here's some of Tin Man's cards. The ones that I think are useful. Let's go into a arena. Alright, we have uh, 82, 85. Trophies. My win streak's 46. Alright, let's get into a battle. Right, here we go. I'm fight Scarecrow. One level higher than me. That shouldn't be a problem. It's way less health than I do. Throw that card in there. Let's use the big time hit already. Knock him back, stun him. Took about half his life. And you just woke him up. Way to go. Yeah, throw that over there. And you're almost dead already. Put some armor on you. Alright, make the battle last a little longer, okay. We can play that game. Alright. Let's knock that down. All you're doing is keeping yourself alive. You're not hurting me at all. So, hey. Yeah, bye. kind of easy. Alright, before I do another battle, go in and see my hero loadout. As you can see, those are the cards I use, and the companions I use. Now this first one, first companion I use, the Hunter. I pretty much only use him because he has the most health in all of my companions. So that's why I use him. Now, this one. Shade Saner. My favorite one. Her health is up there. She debuffs. And she heals. So that's why she is in there. One of my favorite ones. Alright, let's 
do one more battle in here. Alright, going up against Scarecrow again. Just hoping to get something else. Alright. Okay. Get that out of the way. If I can get my main ability in there. Cost me zero mana to do it. Might have it next turn. Oh, one more time. With also his speed, I also am going to get a lot of attacks in right here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to stun him. He's going to lose his turn. And because of all the speed that I have, I have back to back turns right here. Which I'm going to be able to kill him just like that. Speed comes in handy. Alright, let's check out the rankings. I am ranked number 57. And my guild, we are ranked number 6. So that's pretty cool. Alright, let's go check out my campaign that I'm doing. Alright, so I have done all of these. Almost all of them are complete except for the locked areas. And all of them have uh, th all three stars. Except for which is domain. I'm kind of struggling so far. Two star, two star, one star, one star. And we got to right there. So, still working on this one. But I'm getting there. The other cool thing about this game is that you can go back to any area that you have three starred anywhere, hit raid, you get the experience, and you get the essence every time. The only thing that happens. So when you, if you try and do it again, the card you won't get back. It takes 24 hours for the card for off a cooldown to do it again. So it's an easy way to get essence, to get your card that you want. You just have to get it every 24 hours. Pearls. And the amount of energy that you use depends on how high the level is. So the first one was only five. Or no, it was only two. And this one's seven. But I'm going to get more. I'm going to get more experience. More essence. I'm still going to get a card. So this is a good way to level up your guys and get essences, get cards, get experience.
pearls, sapphire, all that stuff. So, um, that's gonna be my Tin Man video. There's also a player named Testy. He also did a video of Tin Man. Uh, I'll put his link to that video in the description. He is also a non-toxic gamer. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please